The United Nations Special Envoy Hans Grandberg briefed the Security Council yesterday. Grandberg raised concerns over the current Houthi escalation in several fronts and added that the warring parties not only confront on the ground but also take a battle economic war and it is the common citizens who bear the brunt of such confrontations. This report has more. Violent engagements between Yemen's Houthi rebels and government forces are complicating peace attempts, according to the UN envoy Hans Grumberg, who spoke at the Security Council meeting. The rivals are now fighting over revenue from ports, trade, banking, and natural resources, according to the special representative Hans Grumberg. The fight over economic prosperity has become inseparable from the political and military conflict. Mr. Hans added that when the truce went into effect in April 2022, fighting has significantly decreased. However, sparks of violence alongside public threats to return to large-scale fighting, which will cause fear and tensions. Yemenis, according to Grumberg, have had the longest period of relative calm since the civil war began in 2014, but the situation on the ground remains fragile and challenging. He mentioned confrontations in five frontline regions, including Hudayda, Yemen's largest port, and Ma'rib, an oil-rich eastern province that Iran-backed Houthi rebels took control of in 2021. From the longest period of relative calm since the beginning of the conflict, According to the latest uh, United Nations report on children and armed conflict, the truce contributed to a 40% decrease in grave violations against children, such as killing, maiming, and recruitment to armed formations. That is a meaningful achievement. But more progress is needed. Also, the Assistant Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs and Deputy Emergency Relief Coordinator, Joyce Musia, stated that the humanitarian community estimates that 300,000 migrants, asylum seekers, and refugees need humanitarian assistance this year. However, due to a lack of paperwork and already stretched public resources, these groups have limited, if any, access to health or social services. This year, the humanitarian community seeks to reach 17.3 million people out of a staggering 21.6 million people in need of assistance. Migrants, asylum seekers, and refugees are among the most vulnerable of these, and their numbers are growing. The International Organization for Migration reports that in the first half of 2023, the number of migrants arriving in Yemen, over 77,000 people, increased sharply and approached pre-COVID levels. At this rate, the number of arrivals is expected to double compared to last year. Yemen, already the poorest country in the Arab world, has been ravaged by the conflict, which has resulted in one of the world's biggest humanitarian crises. Over 150,000 people have been killed. Although the truce was not renewed when it expired in October, Grunberg stated that the reduced conflict has opened the door for real conversations with the parties about ending the war. He added that both sides were asked to take bold steps towards peace. This means an end to the conflict that promises accountable national and local governance, economic and environmental justice, and guarantees of equal citizenship for all Yemenis, regardless of gender, faith, background, or race, Grunberg stated.